Good day everyone, welcome to Advanced Word Processing Skills that includes mail merge and label generation as well as integrating images and external materials. At the end of this lesson, you are able to use some advanced capabilities of Microsoft Word commonly used to increase productivity and efficiency effectively use these features to help improve the productivity of an organization through maximizing the potential of MS Word. Create form letters or documents for distribution to various recipients. Create labels and envelopes for distribution and create media-rich documents for printing or publishing. Mail Merge is a software feature that automates the process of sending bulk email to customers or subscribers. It allows the sender to create one document and personalize it to each recipient. Also, it is often associated with business to consumer or B2C communications when generating personalized documents on a large scale. For example, a business uses Mail Merge when sending a printed letter to a large number of customers. Common examples of documents created using the Mail Merge function include the following bills and invoices, certificates, directories and lists, emails, envelopes, labels, letters, name tags, quotes, reports, and surveys. Take a look how Mail Merge works. The goal of Mail Merge is to streamline communication processes, save time, and ensure each recipient receives personalized information from the sender. To work, it requires two components, a data file and a template file. When merged, the two components produce the merged document. Let's talk about the two components of Mail Merge. First, the form document or the template file. It is the document that contains the main body of the message we want to convey or send. Second is the list or data file or data source. This is where the individual information or data that needs to be plugged in or merged to our form document is placed and maintained. Here we saw a sample of form document or template file. Also, we have here a sample list or data file. Let's now proceed with label generation. Label generation creates a blank form document that stimulates either a blank label or envelope of predefined size and will use the data file that you selected to print the information and typically individual addresses. In your mailings tab, you can find envelopes and labels right before start mail merge. After mail merging and label generating, let's proceed with integrating images and external materials. We have different kinds of materials to be used in integrating images. First, we have pictures. Pictures generally are electronic or digital pictures or photographs you have saved in any local storage device. There are different kinds of pictures. First is the .jpg or pronounced as JPEG and is short for JPEG or Joint Photographic Experts Group. It is suitable for use when working with full-color photographic images. Another is .gif which stands for Graphics Interchange Format. It is capable of displaying transparencies good for blending with other elements and capable of displaying simple animation. This is an example of a JPEG picture. We also have here example of GIF. Another example of picture is dot PNG or pronounced as PING or Portable Network Graphics built around the capabilities of .GIF. It is used for the purpose of transporting images on the internet at faster rate and good for transparencies. Next kind of material is clip art. 
This is generally a GIF type line art drawings or images used as generic representation for ideas and objects that you might want to integrate in your document. Third, you have here shapes. These are printable objects or materials that you can integrate in your document to enhance its appearance or to allow you to have some tools to use for composing and representing ideas or images. These are examples of PNG pictures. We also have here clip arts. Another kind of material is smart art. Generally, these are predefined sets of different shapes grouped together to form ideas that are organizational or structural in nature. Next is chart, another type of material that you can integrate in your Word document that allows you to represent data characteristics and trends. And lastly, you have a screenshot. Sometimes creating reports or manuals for training or procedure will require the integration of a more realistic image of what you are discussing on your report or manual. This is an example of smart art. We also have here charts. Remember, just click the insert tab in your Word document and select the images and materials that you want to integrate. That will be all for today. Thank you and happy learning.